four years, Xiaomi smartphones have always been equipped with the MIUI graphical interface, along with a series of enhancements to the operating system. However, now Xiaomi has set aside everything and turned to its own operating system called HyperOS. What is HyperOS? And what should we know about it? What are the differences from MIUI? And why should we use it? Let's delve into it and find answers to these questions. Hello friends, welcome to the IA Tech Global channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe now and hit the bell icon next to it so you won't miss out on future videos from this channel. Hyper OS is new, but it exists in many phones, including all the latest generations of Xiaomi and Poco phones, and its use is expected to increase in the near future. However, it's not entirely different from MIUI, and those who have worked with MIUI before might find it somewhat familiar. With Hyper OS, you have a separate notification center and control center that open by swiping down from the top of the phone screen. Many folders are supported on the home screen of the phone, allowing you to place numerous folders there. It enables you to organize and arrange the applications and programs on your phone in any way you desire. Nevertheless, the icons of the applications are still accessible to you with a single touch gesture. It uses several Xiaomi specific applications, such as gallery and music, as well as a video application called Me Video or Me Video in some regions. Additionally, it includes a file manager that provides you with the ability to utilize hardware features of your phone, such as the IA Blaster, allowing you to control other devices like televisions using infrared. It also includes a smart remote application through which you can control other devices remotely. You can place all your applications on the home screen or ask it to categorize them into different categories and provide you with search functionality. It shows you the last run applications and allows you to request categorization either horizontally or vertically. You can run a program either full screen or as a shared part of the screen with other applications. In Hyper OS, you can divide the screen into multiple sections and run a different application in each section allowing you to see them all simultaneously. You have the smart sidebar menu, where you can place shortcuts to any application you want. By clicking on the application, it can be executed in full screen mode. The smart sidebar is located in the corner of the screen. The sidebar transforms into a video toolbox when the system detects that the video player is occupied with playing a video. During that time, it provides you with appropriate features from the Theme Store section, you can fully customize your home screen and download new ringtones. All these features were also available in MIUI So. What is new in Hyper OS? Hyper OS has many subtle changes beneath its surface, along with numerous optimizations aimed at improving performance. The new operating system has become significantly lighter, occupying less storage space. Hyper OS features new and cool optimized fonts that support various languages, not just a single font with Latin character support. Hyper OS has greatly enhanced visual effects, smoothly executing many graphic elements, such as textures, shadows, animations, and transitions. Many new animations have been added to the status bar to present information in a beautiful and optimized manner, such as the animation that pops up when you plug in your phone for charging. The control panel appears to be completely different. The quick toggle panel has been enlarged. Previously, in MIUI, you had to scroll left or right to see all of them to find the shortcut you wanted. The notification panel has also been customized. You can use Hyper OS icons to send notifications, and you can also use your own Android icons, which are flatter and smaller. Many additional features have been added for the lock screen. You can design and create a new style from scratch or use ready-made Hyper OS styles for yourself. With Hyper OS, Xiaomi has succeeded in implementing everything that was trending for AI. For instance, 
creating subtitles for your videos, using artificial intelligence, speech to text conversion, which is incredibly useful during work meetings, and real time translation in any application, even during conversations. Image search with AI allows you to provide a subject, and AI can find it among thousands of images in your gallery. AI portrait mode enables you to take a portrait photo of yourself or provide one of your photos to place yourself wherever you desire. It can create a photo for you in any location you specify. For example, you can tell your partner, I'm currently at work. Additionally, AI can resize images, fill in empty spaces, remove objects from photos essentially performing any editing or Photoshop tasks that artificial intelligences are capable of. We still can't fully utilize all the capabilities of AI. They are still in the development stage, and the beta version has been released. Hyper OS has its own security system that it has developed entirely on its own. It has a security chip in the phone's hardware that stores your sensitive information, such as passwords and biometric data like fingerprints and facial recognition. Another cool feature that Hyper OS has added is the ability to easily cast your phone's screen to a tablet or computer. Moreover, it goes further by allowing certain tasks to be performed on other devices, freeing up your phone from multitasking various tasks simultaneously. In addition, your videos and HDR photos can take advantage of devices that support HDR. When viewing a photo with the Hyper OS Gallery app, the quality is much higher compared to when viewing it with social media apps like Instagram or X. Hyper OS has retained the good features of MIUI and has added many things to them. This is the first version of Hyper OS and we have yet to see which direction it will take and what it will evolve into. However, Hyper OS is still in its early stages and from this promising product from China, namely Xiaomi, we can expect to hear much more in the future. Thank you so much, friends, for being with me throughout this program. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notifications as soon as a new video is released. Also, if you enjoyed the program, please like it so that YouTube will recommend it to more people.